they perform? I mean, you know, they did a great job. I mean, I was there to, to support them. Um, you know, they, everybody stepped up. Everybody did a great job of just playing their role, and uh, we got some wins. Russell, was there ever a doubt in your mind that this would be the game back? I mean, I didn't know when it would be, whenever I felt like I was 100% and I would play, regardless of who it was. Sorry. Can you talk about the progress to get to the 100%? I mean, it's, a, it's still an ongoing process. You know, I'm going to continue to rehab, continue to get better and better, uh, you know, find a way to, to catch my rhythm, you know, quicker than last time. There are many restrictions to start off, which is, which is totally fine with me, doctors and you know, my training staff talked about that, and it's fine with me. What about what would have been your reaction if you were then eased back into the lineup instead of starting? Uh, I mean, I don't have to worry about that reaction because it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what is the minute restriction? I keep saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you feel like you are 100 Yeah, yeah, I feel great. What is the what is the minute restriction? What is it? What do you mean? What What is your minutes restriction? Oh, I mean, I think to start off probably be like 25, 26, something like that minutes. Not sure exactly, but somewhere around there. Don't know how long it's going to last, but, you know. Last week, you said your voice and leadership. Yeah. What have you been able to do? Just uh, learn. Learn. Uh, try to teach at the same time and learn at the same time. I've been you know, on the sideline watching different things, uh, able to to talk to guys, put them to the side, tell them what I see from the sideline compared to you know how the game is going, and uh, it was a good opportunity for me. Russell, you were playing so well when yeah. you uh, went in for the surgery. Can you just talk about sort of what you went through mentally as the decisions made to, to go in and do that? Uh, I mean, it's tough. I mean, obviously, I wanted to keep playing, but you know, I have to listen to my body, and you know, it was a tough decision for me, but. It was the best, and uh, you know I'm I'm blessed to be back on the floor tonight. So you were playing with some pain at that time, right? No, no. never played with any pain. Okay, are you in any pain now with the knee? No. no. Not necessarily just the field, but what did you learn from your teammates that maybe made you guys better? Maybe uh, just toughness, man. Um, I think you know guys like Jeremy, Perry, uh, Reggie. Uh, Serge even, I mean, obviously, you know, Kevin, Nick, and Fish, those guys, you know, been through a lot. But those younger guys did a good job of just playing with toughness, uh, playing with confidence, and I think that's going to help us. Well, so you, had, you had one surgery you knew you had to have. Right. Two you didn't know you had to have. Right. How much confidence do you have that, that these things behind you? I mean, I, I, nobody can, can control that. Uh -huh. You know, all I can do is uh, in the rehab uh, to the best of my ability and uh, get ready for the night and get ready for my future games. I mean, it's a, it's a fun game. I mean, you know, obviously everybody likes to, to hop, hype the game up, uh, but it's a, it's a fun game. You know, they beat us in the finals, and uh, I still can't forget that. So um, it's always a, a extra for me, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the guys as well. No. No. Uh, enough. I had uh, enough. Um, I mean, I wasn't really worried about that much. I was just making sure I was able to keep my wind up. Um, you know, play with contact, defend, do different things that I'm able to do throughout the game. Yeah, for sure. Russ, obviously on game days you've been coming to the arena. A lot of times you've gone through some workout time. Is it different today, coming knowing that today was the day back on the court for you? No. A little bit, but I mean, I kind of prepared myself quickly to get my mind back into game mode a couple of days ago. Just getting back into season mode, coming in early, getting my shots, practice, the usual game mode, and if I can keep it as normal as possible. The routine helps you from the mental side. Right, you know? for sure. For sure. Uh, d defense is the main focus for me. Um, I think if I come out, um, and able to defend and help my team rebound and you know help my team do different things defensively it helps us get onto the break, get easy points, get to the line like you said. You had, you had never missed any games huh? last year. Now you missed probably about 40 over the last year. Has that been harder than you thought to adjust to not being out on the court? For sure. I mean, I love I love to play. Um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't miss a game unless I absolutely had to. Um, 
you know, it, it's a tough process. But like I said before, you know, sometimes you have to listen to your body and do what's right. Obviously, you can uh, Right. But he's played a little bit differently in the last month and a half. I think when he was with you, 60% of KB's buddies was assisted, most of the Right. I mean, Kevin's been playing MVP basketball. Um, he's been doing that since the start of the year. Um, and my job is just to help him. That's it. You know, since I've been here, we've been together for six years, five, six years now. And, you know, we figured out, you know, we don't have a problem. We're going to figure it out, and he's going to continue to do what he's been doing. Nah, I mean, we can't. I mean, we've been playing with each other for too long. I mean, we know what each other like to do. I know what he likes to do. You know, obviously, with me being out, he stepped his game up. You know, that's what he's supposed to do. And great players do that. And I think he did a great job of that. He's not going to stop. He's going to continue to play. I'm going to come in and try to help him any way I can. That's obvious. It's obvious. I mean, he has so many different stats throughout the season that nobody has done. I mean, he, he's, he's done a great job of leading us as a group. Um, you know, he's done it in a way that I don't think nobody has done it this year. I mean, I think it's important to, for us to win games. I think uh, Kevin, you know, never mentions MVP. He just comes in every day, um, works on his game, um, tries to get better, tries to find a way where he can be a better person and a better player. And I think w uh, along with that, he's going to come with the MVP. I think uh, it would be huge. I think, like I said before, Reggie, Jeremy, those guys, and, and Perry did a great job of stepping up and, you know, playing bigger roles. And I think now, since they get a chance to go back to their main group, I think it's going to help them a lot, play with a lot more confidence. Um, they know how to play. They know the pace of the games. They know a lot of different things that they didn't know, especially from being a lot more minutes.